Jason Sides, a lap away from an e main victory and continuing his NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals. Paces the field in the corner number three, working the traffic on a turn four. First checkered flag of the evening, and it will go to Jason Sides, who wins the E. Second to Joey Mohan, and third it was Mason Daniel, Kevin Thomas Jr., fourth, Harley White, fifth, and Caleb Helms in sixth. Now another run on Tattnall. Transfer spot once again up for grabs. Brooke Tattnall was wise. He went to the bottom, but here comes Golubic now as Tattnall slides up. Shane Golubic gets the transfer spot back. Brooke Tattnall stays within three car lengths. Tattnall back to the top. Golubic on the bottom. Time is running out here in the D main. Two laps to go and the transfer spot up for grabs. Shane Golubic running low has it for the moment. Brooke Tattnall comes off the cushion in turn number two. Golubic maintains the fourth spot as they make their way into corner number three. Davey has sees the white flag, one lap to go. Rusty Hickman running in the second spot. Craig Delansky still third, Shane Golubic fourth. If Brooke Tattnall wants it, he's gonna have to come and get it. Time is running out as they go down the back shoot for the final time. Tattnall could not hold the low line in turn two. That may have sealed the transfer spot for Golubic. Checkered flag waves on Davey Heskin. Rusty Hickman in second, Craig Delansky third, and Shane Golubic in the fourth and final transfer position. Seven eighths of Justin Henderson. Row number six on the inside from West Berlin tonight with the World of Wheels, Universal Therapy Group, Automotive Machine, Land Pride, cut over 49J. That's Josh Schneiderman. And to his outside from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, in the Fathead's Eyewear, Imperial Wagyu Beef, Drive WFX, Telstar, cut over 99, the Macho Man, Brady Bacon. Lining up 13th from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, the Macri Concrete, JNS Fabrication, Valley Supply, Kistler Engines, number 39, M. Anthony Macri, and your 14th starter from Memphis, Tennessee, the TNS Industries, Wilco Services, Friesen, Chevrolet, Phillips Floors, number 7, M. SW of Jeff Swindell. Starting 17th inside of row number eight, driving the cutter in turn one. Kennedy with a run on the cushion. McCarl strong off the bottom in turn number two, and another run on Kennedy. Transfer spot up for grabs now. Skyler Prohaska part of that mix as McCarl goes to the inside of Kennedy for fourth of the white flag. Final time down the back straightaway for Tyler Courtney as they race by lap traffic. He'll go to the high side of turns three and four as they work through three and four for the final time. Kale Thomas still second. Brian Brown third off at turn four. Checker flag will wave your winner, Tyler Courtney. Kale Thomas comes home second. Brian Brown third and the transfer goes to Carson McCarl. Moved by Sammy Swindell down the back straightaway. Geo on the high side looking for a transfer spot into tonight's A main event off of turn number four. Checkered flags out and Geo Selzy gets the win. Donnie Schatz just now crossing the line in second. James McFadden in third. And Rico Abreu puts it in the show. Down the back shoot for the final time as the white flag flies. David Gravel through turns three and four. Up on the high side of the racetrack from the drop of the green. David Gravel wins the Knoxville Nationals. Getting set to climb up on the car to greet the fans. Jax is up there. say thank you Shane thank you Darren Pittman Shane coming up here Shane Stewart was I don't know what to say it was a dream week you know Brad Sweet killed it last year and uh, we kind of repeated what he did uh, to have Jeff Gordon Exalta Bobby to keep this team going Phil to bust his butt you know lost his best friend and to keep this going made it all worth it Patrick uh, Tyler all the other guys, I don't even really know their names. It's their first, first race with me, but uh, it's obviously a hell of a crew here. And uh, man, it just feels amazing. I don't know. I'm, I'm numb. 
I wasn't that tired in the car, but after the checkered, it just sinks in. It's like you got boulders on your shoulders. And uh, man, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's really surreal. It doesn't feel real at all. But uh, happy to get the lead there at the halfway point, just control my own destiny. Uh, you know, we made an adjustment there at the red and, and made the car better. So. I don't know. I don't know what to say. What did you? Yeah, it's uh, you know, start off the week the way we did, and uh, I said this morning in a tweet, you know, you put this team up against the ropes, they come back swinging, and uh, my, that starts at the top of my grandfather. He's distilled it in this team since the very beginning, and um, you know, second at Eldora hurt, but I'm really proud of this one. You know, congrats to David Gravel, um, the whole Jason Johnson racing team. You know, it's awesome what they've overcome and to, to win this for a second time. So congratulations to them. But I'm very proud of my race team, and uh, it's just you know. It's, it's one of these things you dream about as a little kid, and I said it outdoor, and uh, it's a dream come true every day to get to drive these things and in front of all these awesome fans, and the sport just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year, and it's uh, I'm just happy to be a part I'm, of it. Uh, on, on one hand, I'm extremely happy and really proud of this Roth Motorsports team for the effort that uh, we put into Knoxville Raceway all season long, and uh, especially tonight. On the other hand, I'm pretty disappointed that I feel like by far it's the best car I've ever had here and the best chance I've ever had to win this race, and uh, I feel like we had the open track speed to run with David um, we just didn't have anything with you know I made a huge mistake as soon as we got to lap traffic on uh, a car in three and four that cost me a, a ton of track position and ground and uh, honestly I think he was just better in lap traffic I, he could just uh, he runs this place pretty fearless and uh, honestly moves around um, without fear as good as anybody I think I've seen in a long time and, and that's a credit to him and his whole JJR team they just uh, that car moves around really well and I don't think we could do that so pretty frustrated um, that we lost second on that last lap uh, lap car just made a mistake in front of me but uh, I'm pissed off about it but I've been that lap car and made plenty of mistakes in front of people so I got to keep that in mind as well so just uh, I got to thank Dennis and Teresa Roth for giving me this opportunity it's been a uh, roller coaster of a season and uh, we're fighting we're fighting really hard and uh, for once I kind of feel like I, I know what it feels like to be fast around here so uh, that's the silver lining and uh, we'll just have to take third and uh, get motivated and come back and try to improve on that next year. Overall, this